Hey y'all, this is Geek Girl coming at you with more movie reviews from Quarantine. This one's called Episode 50. Oh my god. Y'all have got to check this one out. I am not even playing with y'all. Um, basically what it's about is uh, these paranormal investigators. Uh, they go in and uh, they try to debunk uh, a bunch of uh, paranormal activity and whatnot. And this really rich guy... Um, He's only in his 30s, but he ends up having cancer. Well, he's lived a terrible life. And now he's thinking about his mortality and all that jazz. And um, so he's afraid he might go to hell. So he acquires a property, I guess, of the uh, West Virginia Lunatic Asylum, which is supposedly, quote-unquote, the most haunted place in America. And it, it, it does... It's not there, so that that's fictional, but that's beside the point. Anyway, uh, so they get permission to go to it, to debunk it, uh, get there, show up, and there's these religious fanatics who are trying to prove they exist. Now, these paranormal investigators are a little bit different. They do know that ghosts exist. They know that ghosts, um, like, uh, the ones that are stuck in a loop exist, the, uh, Ones that can actually touch you. The intelligent ones. Um, poltergeist exist. But one of them does not believe uh, the demonic ones. Which is uh, the ones that never were actually human. It's a non-human specter. They're just straight up demons. Doesn't want to believe it. Doesn't want to think about it. There's a story behind it. You'll learn it when you watch the movie. Gotta love it. Anywho. Uh, he does all that. And... Um, yeah, all hell breaks loose as soon as they walk in. I mean, they don't even get in the door and they're already seeing stuff. And they got a... The religious fanatics have a, a medium who uh, starts screwing with stuff. And uh, her boyfriend starts forcing her to go further and further in. And it's just absolutely crazy. Now, it is a B-movie. And uh, the acting and the uh, CGI and whatnot is very wonky. But the sheer truth of the matter, like the authenticity, the absolute honest to goodness about it, is so on point. I legitimately have to give this a five on my scarometer. I I don't have a choice. I literally don't. Because, I mean, it is literally so accurate. It actually gave me goosebumps. I, I don't even know what to say about it. I I was absolutely freaking out of how close they were. I mean, I don't even know where to go with that. I mean, of course, the storyline helped a lot. They got poltergeists. They got ple people making up stuff. They got ghost kids. They got ghost nurses. They have crazy felons. They have all kinds of stuff. Heck, they even went as far as to put in uh, the West Virginia uh, Penitentiary. Which is actually legitimately one of the most haunted places in America. I I don't even know. <laughs> I I I am just beside myself with how good this movie is. Just like I said, from the sheer accuracy of what they know, how they go about it, and yeah, it it really threw me for a loop of how good it is. Um, I highly recommend it. Please, please, please give it a watch for me. Like I said, a little bit of goofy acting, a little bit of goofy CGI, but totally worth it. Y'all have got to check it out. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. Later.